Chevy did their thing, didn't they? I know everybody doing Mopar and everybody doing different cars now um, than they used to do. But Chevy forever gonna be in my heart, man. You know? That's just where I'm at with it, but teach us on though. What's poppin'? It's KG Go Hard, and I'm back with another video. Y'all already know what y'all about to get, man. Tune in with your boy. It's about to go crazy. Be going up every day, and if you ain't like to subscribe, do so now, because it's about to jump. What's poppin'? What's poppin', y'all? Y'all know what it is, man. Y'all see it, man. We got a side-by-side -side comparison going on today with uh, Tudor Tahoe and my 95 Impala SS, man. So, um, we gonna get into it, y'all. Got two nice vehicles here, you feel me? Um, feel good to have your name on two titles, you feel me? Um, for those who haven't actually um, got the experience to own one or, one car or more than one, um, once you get the opportunity to do so, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. But I've been blessed, man. I've most definitely been blessed. Uh, we got both vehicles running today, um, so you can hear the difference between the two. And, uh, we gonna get into it though. It's the first time I've done a video with these two cars, um, actually washed up and ready to be seen. They both neither have had uh, like a full detail yet. You know what I'm saying? They just looking good. We just got them cleaned up. Not much going on. You know what I'm saying? It's a little uh, soap and water, little elbow grease. y'all see it though man this is a 1999 chevrolet tahoe which is the last one that they made um this last one they made in production you know um had this car for about a year and a half actually one is from mr 75 caprice man uh another youtuber this is the first raffle that he actually had done and then here next to it um is the new addition to the channel um, we haven't even got into it at all yet. Um, I know I'm gonna have a lot of mixed feelings about my car, but it's my car, 1995 Chevy Caprice. Just got it, so we got a few things that we need to do to it. Um, but yeah, she's clean, man. Haven't given it a name yet. Haven't spoke to you guys much about this car, car at all. Um, I meant to throw that window all the way up. But yeah, I didn't mean to... Um, leave that window down but at least I get to show you that the power windows work but y'all see it though man these are my two vehicles both Chevy big Chevy gang both got dual exhaust you should be able to hear the difference between the two um, I'm going to try and get you the sound of the two before I leave from here today but y'all see it though man Chevy did their thing, didn't they? I know everybody doing Mopar and everybody doing different cars now um, than they used to do. But Chevy forever gonna be in my heart, man. You know? That's just where I'm at with it, but to each your song, though. To each your song. Um, on the Impala SS, we got some 22 inch DUBs, actual dub rims, you know what I'm saying? Not no knockoff. Actual DUVs. 
blacked out. Going with the black on black. Y'all see it though, man. Both cars have been customized, so neither is that stock. Uh, it's, it's not how you're gonna get it uh, when you go buy one new. You can't go buy one new now anyway, but once you buy them new, you most definitely um, won't come with some of these upgrades. Um, for starters, we can start here with the two-door Tahoe. Um, this key lock right here, this is actually not factory. This is something that was added to the truck, not by me, but um, that does give that truck a different, distinct look than some of the others that you might see in traffic if you got any rolling around in your city. Um, also, on the same truck, the Chevy Bowtie exhaust tip. That is not factory. That has been added to that truck. So, um, and it's also black. You know, most people um, that do do Chevy tips, I do see chrome, or they keep the regular round cylinder type um, exhaust tips, but those are different. Also, just looking in that same corner, this tail light, this tail light is not the same. This is not stock. They have been chained out, changed out um, on both sides, so y'all can see that. Um. Yeah, and to give it a, a much better look, there are different ways that you can go when it comes to doing different customizations, like the lights and different things like that. But the ones that were chose for these vehicles, I'm liking them. I'm loving them. I'm loving them. See, just speaking on it, the light. Look at this light here. That light is not stock. It gives it a whole nother look to the car, and I'm loving it. Um, speak on this truck a little more. These wheels, these wheels right here are 26 inch honeycomb replica GM wheels. So 295, 30, CR26 is the tire size. These are 26s with the bow tie Chevy in the middle. And uh, this truck was originally gifted to me on 30 inch rims. Uh, I actually rolled those 30 inch rims in the beginning of my channel for a while. And then we switched out for these here, um, just to switch it up a little bit more. And I feel like this truck looks a whole lot different, but still looks good though. You know what I'm saying? It's not a bad look. And I, I like this. I did have some 24 inch uh, snowflakes on here at one time. And they look similar to these, but I felt they were a little small. So these 26s on this truck is doing pretty good for me. Um, we've been riding it for a while. Um, I was thinking about a change possibly, but you know, I actually got a change here. You know, we got a couple things that we could do with this car. So we got a lot of balance going on here on this channel, man. Let's get back to this truck. Stock. This is not stock. This chrome door handle piece has been added to this truck. This is not stock. Um, so if you find one of these that got that, it has been added. Also, um, this right here has been added weather tech i don't act, I'm, I'm not for sure if this cup this particular brand or this company was in business when this truck came out they could have been but i don't think that these were stock on these vehicles i could be wrong get in the comment section and let me know but i don't believe so um but i believe that was added i did not add it but it was added to the vehicle and it does enhance the beauty of the truck also serves a purpose with the tent and with the visor you know, you can have your window cracked and it could be sprinkling and you could be okay. Um, on the same side of this car, we actually have this turn signal mirror. And I'll show you real quick. That is not stuck. How that has been added on there and you can use the turn signal and it shows on your blinkers on your left and right side. So that has been added. That is not stock. That enhances the beauty of this truck as well. This truck also has these um, running boards slash step ladders. Um, these are not stock. These um, hold plenty, plenty of weight. Um, they were added on the truck before I actually won it, but uh, it does enhance the beauty of this truck. They are black. Another thing about this truck, um, it's got a minimal amount of chrome on it. You know what I mean? Just enough in a few places to enhance the wheel. And these are some nice wheels that I got. I mean, if you actually look at the, the back side of them, they're pretty clean, man. You know? Um, 
Y'all see it, man. Rims don't look like that. A lot of people out here riding and rolling, their rims don't look like this. You know what I mean? So, no pits, nothing like that there. These two tires on the front actually are brand new. As you can see, the nipples and stuff still on them. I actually just replaced these on the channel not too long ago. Um, I had two broken uh, beads or two broken belts in the front of this truck. Um, and I had to get brand new tires. So we did that and replaced those. Moving alongside the front of the truck. This bumper that has been powder coated. This is not stock. They do not come with that stock black bumper. As far as I'm aware, I have not seen one um, that came stock. But you guys can educate me if they did. Um, also, this blacked out bow tie is uh, an addition that's been added to this truck. This black mesh grill back there has another addition that's been added to the front end of this truck to enhance the beauty. These tail lights here, top and bottom, along with these here, have been added to enhance the beauty of this truck. All of this has been changed to customize the beauty of the truck without going extreme though. You know, I'm just keeping it minor. And there's a lot of things that we can still do to this truck. I've been really moving real slow because I want to keep the integrity of the truck. But at the same time, I want to be able to um, do my own unique thing with it. Hence the name salt and pepper we got across the top. And um, these may have come with a factory tint on here, but this windshield, as you can tell, is a little dark. Uh, it's got a slight tint on it. That is not stock. And these dark side mirrors, I believe, um, were tinted uh, aftermarket. I didn't do it. It was like that when I got it. Um, but y'all see it, man. She's a beauty. This is salt and pepper. Um, if you hear it, I got a slight exhaust leak. Not nothing too major. Something real slight. But I am going to have to get it done. Get it fixed up real soon. She's not perfect, but she's mine. And I appreciate it. How I got it and everything. Some can't. That's something I added. My name on the truck. Get off into this Impala. Y'all see here. This grill is not the same. This is not a stock Chevy grill. It's got the the billet, the straight line bars, blackout. It enhances the front end, makes it more aggressive. Also. got the Impala emblem for the license plate that enhance it as well as under the car the Impala SS enhances it as well it makes that whole front end look so much better yep so it's all black the theme got DUB rims on it. The calibers were plated blue before I bought it. What's going on, bro? I got the parking lot, but hey, man, it is what it is, man. I'll be done in a minute. Y'all see it? These 22s are awfully tight in here, too, because of the tire size I got on here. Just in case you guys want to see the uh, the lift that's on here and how these tires are tucked in here like that, and you want to get your to look the same. It's a bolt that go here. I got to tighten up. I will do that soon. But y'all can see I'm real close up in there. And the tire size for these are 28530ZR22. If you guys are interested and want to know that. This car does have some, uh, uh, what do you call it? Pinstriping on it, but it's been, it's gonna get removed. Um, it's actually not even in some of the places of the car. So um, I'm actually gonna take the pinstriping off. You guys get in the comment section, let me know how you feel about it, if, about me putting it on there in general. Um, I probably 
might keep it off or I might change it, I'm not sure. These lights here have not been changed, um, but they can be um, to enhance the beauty of this tail end as well. Um, I have not changed these. I don't know much about the specifics of what has and what has not been changed in this car, but I'm willing to find out. And we're gonna find out together here with the channel. Um, there's a long story behind this car. And uh, y'all gotta do is hit the subscribe button and uh, like the video and stay tuned. Hit that notification button so that you don't miss none of the next upcoming videos and you're gonna know exactly what's going on. Um, the Impala SS emblems on the side, these have been added to give it a more of a chrome feel on the black seat. Both cars have minimal chrome, but it most definitely um, shines pretty good. You don't have to go too hard, you don't have to do too much, you know what I'm saying? And it's just gonna be beautiful. Yeah. But this is what we got, y'all. So I appreciate y'all checking me out. Um, like I said, if it's your first time checking me out, man, that's what I got. It's gonna be more to come. If you've been rocking with the channel, man, I appreciate you. And you're responsible for the growth that's happening, man. So um, thank y'all. And uh, just stay tuned. I promise you we're going to have more content coming soon.